which are uh, the F block, 2 for 5, and OA. So this one was a bit tricky for me to just figure out, as a key press is weighted and then stored in Vx, and I was misinterpreting it as wait until Vx is pressed and then store Vx in uh, Vx, but you already know it, what key you pressed, because but it it actually means that when you wait for a key and you store the key which is pressed in uh, in Vx. So we will grab Vx, yes, of code and it. why do we keep pressing exclusive R? Shift it down 8 bit and we will loop through all the keys until we got one which is set and if that is the case then we will break the for loop uh, increment the counter by 2 and also set Vx is keys y and maybe needs to cast yes I don't need to really worry about the uh, it's just why uh, and we I don't need to worry about if it's uh, signed or not because it can only be 0 through 16 and we um, but we will always notify what the program is doing. So even if the key is not found, we will just simply wait. Await uh, notify the user awaiting key press to be stored in V X, and we will also break the normal ca cl uh, case, and that's the entire code. This episode feels messy. All right, uh, Vx fifty five. Store Vx to V uh, V zero to Vx in the memory starting at address y. So I'm guessing it's the same as in here. Uh, that it means to means up to and including Vx. So I will basically do exactly the same as here, but then the other way around. So memory y plus small y equals vy instead of grabbing it from the memory. And I will, uh, I will kind of do the same thing here. System y the print line setting memory y plus x to v0. to uh, Vx. And I sh for good measure I should convert y to the hexadecimal value. And we will increment the program counter by 2 and break the case. So this is the entire chip 8 emulator excluding the first code which goes to a different chipset. So good job you finished the chip 8 emulator. I will start with a Game Boy Advance em or Game Boy Game Boy uh, emulator Game Boy Classic or something. Yeah, the Game Boy, the basic normal Game Boy. And I will probably uh, take a bit of the. Uh, a week or maybe two before I lay the exact base on how we are going to code uh, the, the Game Boy. As we actually did cheat a bit with the Chip 8 
emulator in the memory it should also store uh, phi, y, program counter, the stack, the stack pointer, the delay timer, the sound timer, the key presses and the display in the values before 200 and around uh, x er, hexadecimal 200 and hexadecimal uh, 50 but we didn't do it at, uh, to make it a lot easier for ourselves and I'm kinda thinking to make it uh, different this time so we have the exact or a better copy of the actual device because what we made is more of an interpreter than an actual emulator right here so I will see you guys in probably a couple of weeks and well see you then hello and welcome to part 11 of make your own emulator in this episode we will finish up the emulator uh, but one operation and the operation is the default class of case 0 I have no idea how to call it as I didn't really research in what it was or what it does or wh actually where it is stored because it seems to be an entire different chipset so I think it's kinda out of the scope of this series so we only got nine operations left which aren't all that hard so let's go case 5 skip the next instruction if vx equals vy so we will store x uh, x and we will also store y for temporary um, someone is whining um, so if vx equals vy Uh, we increment I will just do it like this if phi x equals phi y skipping next instruction because phi x equals phi y Not skipping next instruction. This is a mathematical sign of not equals, and because we aren't evaluating doesn't equal, I will just add this one to make it more clear on what's happening. So we'll also do that here. So case 5 is simple, it's really simple. Okay, and it's actually pretty similar to case 9 so we'll copy the entire contents and God damn it um, which is case 9 I said so where's 9? 9, 9, 9, 9 there so I will copy paste it into here and it's the case is skip next instruction if vx doesn't equal vy so we can really easily tweak the function to change it so the, those two are finished now I will do the code B and so y uh, jumps to the address nnn plus v uh, v zero. So nnn equals uh, the opcode ended with the last three nibbles, and extra equals v zero ended with uh, f with the contents of an entire bit. So we can easily re um, use that value. 
so we jump to it so PC equals NNN plus extra instead of just calling uh, the um, uh, the memory pointer or something and we also don't need to call PC plus 2 is 2 because it's a jump so all we gotta do now is complete block 8 and F and I'll start with 8 as it's pretty simplistic so I will copy uh, this piece is set VX to so the, uh, we will begin with subcase 1 it's set VX to VX binary or VY so Vx equals Vx or Vy. Program counter plus is equals to break, and of course we should apply it. Vx equals char. Um, yeah, Vx or Vy ended with a the maximum binary value to resolve sign issues. So subcase 3 equals almost the same but then exclusive or. So I will again copy paste it and change the correct signs to make it an exclusive or instead of the uh, binary or. So if you are curious what the exclusive R does, you should uh, revisit part 1 as the guide should contain information about the XOR. If not, let me know in the comments as I might have been I might have forgotten it. So the next subcase is 7 and that one is a bit more complicated, but it's still very doable. And I will first of all copy this bit, but well, I will scrap at this. So it sets Vx to Vy minus Vx. Vf is set to zero when there is a borrow and one when there is no borrow. And uh oh, come on. Thank you. Um if so if Vx is larger than Vy, borrow will occur. So then we set Vf to 0, otherwise we will set it to 1. And then we apply... Damn it! Come on! Why do people need, need, feel the need to talk to me during the recordings because they know I'm recording? So, <laughs> Vx is Vy minus Vx, and I will cast it to char and resolve the uh, signing issues again. And I should turn down all notifications. And of course, we will notify it to the user for consistency. Vx equals v y minus v x applies borrow if needed and then that is the entire code so we will continue to 8 e so Oh, and I should fix this one because in this actually what this operation says is being happened in this one except for the most significant bit and least significant bit so to fix 6 we change the left shift to uh, right shift by 1 and also notify the user of the correct shifting E is exactly the same, 
but the shift is the different direction, which is left. And we need to end it with the most significant bit, which is the le most left bit, which gives the most value to a byte, which equals to OX80, as we used in the drawing code. So, and that is also the entire E block or subcase, and it also finishes up the entire A block. So now we only got two operations left to solve. 